Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with a short description of the single responsibility design principle. Simply stated, classes should have only one reason to change. Why? Well, if you imagine this example here, we've got a class that does two distinct things. It has two responsibilities. And very often what this means is the class is being used in different ways by different clients. So client A is using the, uh, the methods that relate to the first responsibility of this class. Client B is using the methods that relate to the second responsibility. The problem is, is when we come to make a change to this class, both of those clients could be affected if both of those responsibilities are taken care of by the same class. If we were to refactor this and separate those responsibilities out into separate classes, then if we were to make a change to the first responsibility code, only client A would be affected. If we were to make a change to the code for responsibility 2, then only client B would affect, be affected. So we minimize the impact. So let's look at a small example. We have a, a class called bank transfer that transfers an amount of money between a payer and a payee uh, bank account. But it also does something um, related but distinctly different um, which is also serializes that information to an XML string. So arguably it has two distinct responsibilities. If you watch uh, my videos on uh, refactoring code smells, you may recognize this as the code smell called divergent change. That just means classes that have more than one distinct responsibility. To refactor this, all we need to do is create a new, we're going to create a new class and we're going to put this 2xml method on it. So let's call it bank transfer oops, XML serializer. So we're just going to declare that class there. Okay. Just so you know, I'm using JUnit Max, so that's running the test in the background. So whenever I save the source files like this, JUnit Max runs the test, so lets me know that I haven't broken anything. So it is proper discipline refactoring that I'm doing here, hopefully. And then we just move this method across to the serializer like so. OK, so we now have two classes with two distinct responsibilities, one each. A bank transfer that has the business logic and the bank transfer XML serializer that has the serialization logic. 